<laughs> What's this weed? No. Well, you've been asked this question before, and I just forgot you can stop the camera, Carl. If you weren't a writer or an author, what is it you would like to do? Well, I guess of all the professions I've looked at, um, not being a collision person, I don't like hitting people or being hit, although there are vast numbers of Americans who do. I, I suppose the sport that would be the one that I'd like to do is play tennis terribly well, go on the tour, or maybe be a golfer. As, the, as far as the arts, I suppose to play music. Uh, I did play very briefly in the New York mm -hmm. Philharmonic. I played the, <coughs> played the triangle and the gong. Well, obviously those instruments aren't one that one would want to, uh, these solo instruments, we, we would, one would want to deal with those. But I think to, to be a musician, you could play it all your life. Mm -hmm. and there wouldn't be a sort of a cutoff point, which there is with tennis or golf, pretty much. And musician seems to uh, music seems to uh, to have a special quality about those that play it. They seem to be able to get such enormous pleasures out of it, even though they're playing the same piece over and over again. So I suppose that that would be the profession that I'd pick out of all the ones I've looked at. Uh, well, that's not too. I wouldn't mind being a, all the obvious answers. I wouldn't mind being a millionaire. I wouldn't mind yeah. being a, <laughs> any number of things. But of the ones I've looked at. Uh, I I think that I've often heard the term George Plimpton's a real life Walter Mitty. <coughs> and is that really true? Uh, I don't think so. The, the Walter Mitty was a was as you remember the fictional character who always dreamed of, of doing all these things exactly. and, and uh, never actually did them at all. I remember Ernest Hemingway once said about these things that I do that um, they're the dark side of the moon of Walter Mitty because Walter Mitty always succeeded at flying the airplane across the country or performing an operation. Mm -hmm. I've forgotten what the fictional things were that he did, but he always succeeded at them until he was rudely awakened by his rather domineering wife. But in my own case, um, I actually try these things and fail at them all because that always happens to the amateur. He has no, there's no chance that he's going to succeed with the, the which, world of professionals. So which, it is the dark side yeah, of that. Which movie. endeavor or which attempt were you the least or the most successful? Well, I was pretty successful in my last quarterbacking attempt, which is the focus of this book, Mad Ducks and Bears, a quarterback for the Baltimore Colts. And in the, when I did it for the Lions, I think I lost 30 yards, but with the Colts, I made, I think, 23, 15 yards of that on a roughing the passer penalty. But still, <laughs> pick them up where you can find them. Are you uh, sure you're ready for the big time? No, I'm finished with football now for good. I think that's, I've done enough at it. Yeah. What, it, what have you done that's not in the athletic field that has been sort of a different type of endeavor? Well, I've done other things than these, this, uh, this device of being a participatory journalist. I mean, I wrote a book about Robert F. Kennedy, and I'm the editor of a magazine called The Paris Review, which has nothing to do with sports at all. In fact, it's right at the other end of the spectrum, mm -hmm. really. And I do a lot of editing. I've edited books on uh, How Writers Write, which is a series called Writers at Work and another series called The American Literary Anthology. So my life is not completely taken up mm -hmm. with being somebody else or trying someone else's profession. Well, I would assume that's probably what sets you apart from most people. You have, seem to have a capacity to do a lot. Do you recognize that quality within yourself? Uh, well, I don't do these other things with great skill, mind you. I, I don't think it's really all that difficult. Anybody could, could do the things I have done if he were a practicing journalist and decided he wanted to try that particular aspect of journalism. You know, anybody that goes down a very tough ski slope or... You know, I don't think people are that sedentary. I think people do any number of difficult, complicated things in the course of a year that... Uh, or they should, perhaps. Perhaps yeah. they shouldn't play professional football, <laughs> but... Uh, I don't think life is all that, uh, for most people, is all that set in its ways. Well. There must been, have been something about you or within you that made you say, hmm, I'll go out and, and try this event <clears throat> and write about it and tell my experiences. And, you know, thousands of other people have done the very same thing but have never sat down to write yeah. the book. Well, I've always been fascinated by, by people who are put under terrific pressure by something or other, either by the occupation that it is that they do. See, writers, I, 
subject, when you look for a subject as a writer, someone that is under that sort of confrontation, that sort of pressure, is apt to be more interesting. Uh, and obviously athletes, artists, musicians who have to perform to a great degree of skill or circus, aerialist, whatever it is, um, it's, it's grist for a writer's mill, if you will. And that, that may be why I was concentrated largely on athletics and on the arts. Obviously a dentist uh, is going through a great deal of pressure when he's operating a, on a patient, and certainly the patient is, but it's not highly dramatic. But the quarterback who's getting ready for his last game or for the big game, what he goes through in that week is, is something that is of very much of interest to the writer, or, or at least it is to me. So I suppose that would be the reason in a way that I'm fascinated.